Hey there guys, uh, just another video about, uh, no I can't do it in an American accent, I'm absolutely rubbish at uh, accents, even sometimes I'm okay, but not this morning. <laughs> well this video is obviously going to be about a couple of flyers that I produce, um, connected with like uh, some of the first flyers I've produced in Africa. So when I was a missionary in Africa, I put these together to help people understand what I was going on about. And part of this was showing people about the King James Bible being um, the best translation in English we have from the correct manuscripts. As we see, the term omitted is used when either the phrase or the verse in question is deleted. Um, so this is just a small sampling. Some have objected to me comparing the New World Translation and the New International Version and the New American Standard Bible. They complain that the New World Translation is obvious corruption of Scripture on the part of the Jehovah Witness cult instead of complaining, complaining about the comparison they should be wondering why the NIV, NASB so frequently agree with the NWT and why key doctrines are being changed before our eyes. So this is the most important thing. Um, extol Yeshua always, you know, I think you're just going too deeply into the, the King James Bible so-called changes. A lot of them you mentioned, as I've mentioned before, are not changes. And I think that, you know, we still should be involved in telling people that um, the King James Bible is one of the few translations that's translated from the correct manuscripts. And it's still the best one we have because it hasn't changed doctrine. So I've given out hundreds of those, maybe thousands. And um, I used to actually give them out outside churches. Protestant churches, Baptist churches, the one I got baptized at, you know, and gave quite a lot out there. And there was one elder that was, wasn't happy at all, you know, when he started reading this. Why he wouldn't be happy? I have no idea because it's, it's, it's exposing these false Bible versions over here. Very much exposing them. He's not, he wasn't happy about that because that particular Baptist church <laughs> is a friend there. Uh, Husky uses that term, but it's true. I mean, uh, let's just read down a few of them. Matthew 9.13, not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Good, sound, solid biblical doctrine. And they delete this uh, to repentance part because they say, oh, repentance is works. So this is where this doctrine has come from, guys. This doctrine of that repentance is works as came from the newer um, Bible translations which are translated from the Nestle's text and not from the text that's receptus over here. For the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. Now any Christian would agree with that. Now wh why would a Jehovah Witness be going around banging on doors if they didn't agree that they're actually going out to save the lost? A. You can't be lost if... Uh, you know, you can't be lost if 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 there's no heaven and hell. You know, if 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 you're a hellbound sinner, you're lost. But if there's no heaven and hell, you, you, it's impossible for you to be lost, no matter how wicked you are. You know. <clears throat> and yet, of course, we see in these uh, New World Translations, this verse has been omitted. It just doesn't make no sense, guys. Why call us down me good? Um, why do you ask uh, um, me about what is good? So that's a whole different meaning to that text. That he says only the Father is good, only God is good. Hallelujah. Um, you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man comes. Hallelujah. So again, this is about the doctrine that um, people say, well, Jesus isn't really coming back, you know, uh, physically. 
because the Jehovah Witnesses teach that he came back invisibly in 1914 or 17 or some stupid, unprovable date like that, you know. <coughs> um, again, this is where this false doctrine comes from, guys. I love the brethren, the brothers and sisters out there that have their own callings, YouTube channels. Some of them are about the Mandela Effect, some of them are about Bible versions, but we got to understand there's a lot more going on out there. And again, we got to use discernment to stick to the truth, find out what the truth is about about a matter. Trusting in riches, how hard is it for you to you just take the trust in riches? So that that's the entire uh, prosperity gospel right there. Prosperity gospel doesn't like this. How hard is it? Is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God? So you're getting entire churches um, hanging on to the prosperity gospel. God came to prosper us, so that's not good for them, for their financial prosperity. You know, there's four different ways that we can prosper um, in our lives, in our educational life, in our working lives financially, in our family life, and in our spiritual lives. So the prosperity guys are lukewarm spiritually and God's about to spit them out his mouth. But they don't like hearing that. They'll call you a false prophet if you tell them about that. Thank God the King James Bible is still um, <clears throat> in a manner that we can understand. <clears throat> and it's not been changed too much by the Mandela effect. There might be some quite uh, crazy, you might call them, grammatical words that don't make sense but you can still get the doctrine out of it the doctrine hasn't changed now this this is a this is just beautiful this just one word one name one word changes an entire doctrine and Joseph and his mother the child's father and mother so this is implying that Joseph is the father of Jesus Christ not Yahweh the, the you know that God isn't the father of Jesus Christ. So of course Muslims would love these translations, you know, the New World Translation. Because it's a New Age religion, Islam. That's what it is. It's just all New Age. Anything that denies that that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Son of God, is God in the flesh, is Antichrist. We're warned that. And these are Antichrist Bible versions, my friends. If you don't know that already, time to wake up, man. Wakey, wakey. I just had to go and get a cup of tea there. I just woke up myself. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So the every word of God is gone. I don't like every word of God. Of course they don't. <clears throat> a lot of them are legalists. Um, they love just studying the written word. But they don't like going after the true word of God, which is the living word, Jesus Christ. Because he gives us a new word every single day, my friends. Every single day, he'll speak to us, strengthen us. If when we pray to him and seek him, sometimes he gives us Bible verses to confirm things that he's doing in our lives. He that believes on me has everlasting life. He who believes has everlasting life. So again, they take out about believing on Jesus Christ for eternal life, and it's just believing, believing in thin air, you know which these absolute morons do, of course. And when they heard of it, being convicted by their own conscience, the hair began to go away. So it's, that was just omitted from the um, Jehovah Witness Bible there. So this is talking about conscience, but the modern day church doesn't have a conscience. Because it's once saved, always saved. Once you're saved, you can't sin. That's the modern church. So you can't have a conscience with regards to anything in life. Because if they did have a conscience, they'd all be lined up at my door right now apologizing to me and saying, John, please, uh, what should we do to follow our Lord Jesus Christ? You know, I'm so sorry about following these Antichrist Bible translations and saying that the gifts of the Spirit are done away. And you know, just a whole host of people would be at the door being convicted by their conscience but today's church is dead 
and it's sin, dead. Dead people don't have consciences. I must work the works of him that sent me. We must do the work on him who sent me. Works of him who sent me. We must work the works of him who sent me. I, mu I must work. So that's obviously he's talking about himself. And then there's the we, the we crowd, the wee wees. You know, we must do this. You know, you, you can't be a Christian unless you join a church so that we can become we, not I. But, you know, see, God gives people words from his written word. And God speaks to individuals from his written word. Okay? Have you ever tried to go to a church, except it's, a, it's to do with money, of course. Have you ever tried to go there and say, well, uh, God told me to go out and street preach, so we must go out and street preach? Can, can you imagine what the church would do? Um, well, son, uh, well, maybe maybe God did speak to you, but uh, God hasn't really spoken to us, so I think you'd best be off and do whatever you think that, you know, your God has told you to do. Or how about you approach it differently? You just go, you, you go up and you say, well, I believe we should be, we should do a fundraiser for the lost um, sheep out there that need uh, saving. And they might refer back, of course, to to this to this one for the son of man came to save that which is lost and they'll turn back to that and say look God God just took this out of our Bible so miraculously it's telling us that we shouldn't obey the great commission so you're, you're a false prophet you're a liar and at that point they probably turn around and say get behind me Satan but it's omitted from their Bibles <laughs> so there you go Ah, there we go. He believeth on me of everlasting life. Who believes? As ever, again, the emphasis on Jesus has been taken away, which we went over before. Um, I, my Father, are one. I and the Father, not me. So uh, it's just ridiculous. Our Father who art in heaven. Would it be the Father who art in heaven now? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> ridiculous I'm sorry no you don't have the same God as us because you believe in the Mandela effect it's not believing in the Mandela effect it's the fact that, that there is documented changes happening on the earth around us it's not a memory issue it's, it's a fact that the things are changing because the documented evidence is there to prove that it's just that you want to shut your eyes to that so it's, it's uh, a blindness effect that's what the Mandela effect is to the those who just stick their fingers on in their ears and say la 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 when you're actually giving them facts now that's a deaf and dumb spirit that's a wicked adulterous satanic spirit that would do that um, you know I know some channels go overboard uh, about the Mandela effects I realize that but you even if one of these changes, if you can confirm one of these changes, then it proves that it's, it's a real, um, it, it's it, it's a real phenomenon. So some of these ones that have been taken out, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ uh, on the throne. He would raise up one of his descendants. So again, the Antichrist spirit says that uh, God didn't come in the flesh. You see. This is being omitted, if they believe with all thine heart, thou mayest, and said, I believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God, let's not fight against God, thou shalt not bear false witness, all just thrown out as if it's like, it's not the word of God, this, you know, so let's just delete it, you know. Ah well, if that's what you think, you want to keep supporting these uh, antichrist, satanic, pseudo-Christian organizations, go ahead, be my guest. And, and keep saying that hell doesn't exist and you'll find out one day that it does it's a prison for lost souls my friend it's a prison for lost souls you bet you better don't play Russian roulette with your eternal destiny <clears throat> and whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sin so again through his blood has been taken out why Maybe the Jehovah Witnesses believed Jesus was a ghost the first time as well. He didn't believe. He didn't um, die on the cross. R really, that blood atoned for their sins. They don't. They don't preach the gospel. God was manifest in the flesh. See, there we go.
he appeared in a body this is the antichrist gospel on the right this is the true word of God here perverse disputings of men corrupt minds um, destitute of truth opposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself which is like all your prosperity churches all of them all of them withdraw yourself from them um, so withdraw yourself has been removed from that because they want you to stay in there and get indoctrinated and pay your tithe money and go to hell um, you have puffed sorry you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit has been has been removed because they don't believe in the Holy Spirit remember the Sadducees don't believe in the Holy Spirit the Jehovah Witnesses many of these other clowns a lot of Baptists don't believe in the Holy Spirit or they say we believe in the Holy Spirit but they don't believe in the fruit gifts and dimensions of the Holy Spirit they're off their head man they're on some form of drugs I can guarantee and every spirit that confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh again is not of God well guess what they're not of they're not of the true Messiah they're not born again they don't preach the true gospel they're dead in their sin him that liveth forever and ever no they don't they don't believe Jesus lives forever and ever do they nah they take that out he was just a man wasn't he or he was an archangel or something fire came down from God out of heaven fire came down out of heaven see fire comes from God they don't like that do they God wouldn't send fire God's a loving God yeah but see God's got to um, completely destroy sin you see so when you've had your chance you had your chance and then it's uh, the lake of fire you know and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it the nation will uh them which are saved oh they don't like being saved of course they don't they don't like preaching that you can be saved through faith in Jesus Christ oh no 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 saved from what saved from hell no, they don't believe in hell so they're just walking zombies they're just going around banging on doors not knowing why they're doing it like little lemmings that's all they are brainless little lemmings uh, so yeah I gave credence to the writer here I believe it was um this is the website that it was from. Okay. There we go. Moving on to the next bit. Okay, the next part of this is like your Saturn Ally, Saturn worship, uh, whatever you want to call it, which is uh, really ingrained in the <clears throat> Judaism and it's ingrained in the Catholic Church within Christianity as well. So we'll just uh, skip through it briefly here. This is um, a satellite which visited the, the North Pole of the planet Saturn and we see the symbol for Saturn and we see the star of Remphan is the star of Saturn in the Bible. It's also referred to as the star of Moloch here in Galatians and Acts. Um, Ashtaroth is linked with this as well. Um, the black cube in Mecca is linked with this as well okay because the black cube represents Saturn also and this is the final one world new age religion that, that comes together in the end it's I believe probably the mark of the beast will be could be something like this it might not be it's, might just be a, a, a triangle or something I, I'm not sure but uh, we'll find out every single world empire has a mark going all the way back to Egypt and within the days of the week you know Sunday right through to Saturn's day these are your eight seven or eight the last one it says it mentions it in Revelation 17 that you know that the eighth head is even part of the seven and so it's talking about world controlling leading empires that have world um, rulers have their own its own religion so even see this one world religion is being headed by the Vatican um, a lot of Catholics understand that a lot of Catholic doctrine has been changed since the last Pope came in 
it's changed an awful lot of doctrine for those Catholics who are on the ball, for those Catholics who understand what they're going to on a Sunday, a son's day, that everything is being corrupted. Um, if you're tricking, uh, seeking a true relationship with God, repent, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, and he will um, write through the Holy Spirit his commands into your heart and mind, breathe into you understanding if you desire it. Because Jesus said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. If, if you're that type of Christian, uh, then you will get understanding about the final empire, just what's going on. Um, there we see the names of the days and the deity or stroke God and the mark associated with these empires are they from Babylon, Medo-Persia, Grecia, Rome, uh, I believe also the uh, Muslim religion uh, that empire ended in 1917 a lot of people think the Muslims are going to take over the world well we'll, we'll find out guys if, if I'm a true prophet or a false prophet I believe that um, it's, it's going to be a mix like the final empire is going to mix a lot of these religions in I've seen various visions about this and it is literally going to be a new religion but it's going to be Luciferianism and your imams are going to agree to it many of your rabbis are going to agree to it many of the Christians are going to are already heading it through the Vatican you see there's a new age antichrist religion with its own leader to be revealed that you know the false prophet who does miracles so it could be a Pope I believe the Pope is just like the Antichrist I believe that the false prophet could be another guy working alongside this guy and then you know so I, most of us think that I'm not really teaching anything new there so you can read through this guys um, hope you've enjoyed this teaching it's, as you can see you know I do hand out flyers that are very very um, well taught and explain things extremely extremely well and I've been doing this for a long long time without anybody really paying me except people have paid me like in on the street <clears throat> when I've been doing busking <clears throat> I get a bit of income, but that's about the only income I get, guys. So if you if you feel led to donate to my Patreon, um, that'd be awesome, guys. God bless. Thank you for watching.